Hi, I'm David Lowenstein, researcher and scientist at Oregon State University. If you're participating in the Trisulcus treponicus wasp study, you'll be receiving several supplies. These include plastic bowl for collecting the wasps, pre-filled vials with ethanol, and a pipette for helping remove some of the smaller insects. To start the experiment, you get the plastic bowl, and you'll fill this plastic bowl to the first line with water from the tap. To that water from the tap, you'll want to add a few drops of dishwasher soap. Any dish soap will do. Uh, the purpose of the soap is just to break the surface tension so that insects that land in this plastic bowl uh, will not fly away. So you'll leave this plastic bowl for four days in your yard. To make sure it's in a place that receives partial uh, to mostly shady conditions, if it's in full sun, the water will evaporate quickly. And you'll need to refill that more frequently. So after a few days, your bowl might look something like this. It'll be filled with little insects, perhaps some bigger insects, and most of these insects are not the wasp of interest. But the easiest way to transfer everything is to put everything into the vial. If you're feeling adventurous, uh, feel free to remove some of the larger insects like spiders and grasshoppers. Uh, a forceps or hand will do for moving them out. Now for the actual transferring, you have your plastic vial here. What you'll want to do is you'll first want to transfer the contents carefully from the plastic bowl into the vial. And I provide two vials because the first one will fill up. So after that first vial fills up, simply cap it, remembering to leave the pre-filled label inside. And once it's sealed, you're complete. Now you might find that after filling the label, or the, the bottle, both the first and the second one, you might still have a couple small insects that are difficult to remove. And that's where this small pipette comes into play. If you put the pipette right into the bowl above the small insect, you can simply fill it up and transfer the contents directly into the vial. So you've squeezed some of the insects into the pipette, and you can push it right out, and the small insects will come out. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, david.lowenstein at oregonstate.edu. Uh, I look forward to your participation in this project.